So we have a, an interesting little problem here. We've got a swarm in the corner of a wall, um, which makes them quite difficult to uh, to get anything above them. So instead, I'm going to put this polynuke right up as close as I can get to them with a. I've made a platform just in front of them with some little concrete slabs here and so I'm going to see if I can scoop them in by hand um, and then hope that the rest find their way so I'm just going to gently gather some bees up from down here Because once I've got some bees in the box, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that they'll signal to the others. And you can already see, look, there's a there's a bit of a movement started there. Although the ones I'm the ones I'm moving by hand aren't necessarily staying in the box. They are going to, I think give the message to the others that there's something here worth investigating and the smell of beeswax and these are actually new frames with um, just half sheets of foundation so I'm hoping that's going to be enough to give them the idea that this is going to make a nice new home If I, if I succeed in getting the queen in there, I'm getting a couple of little stings, but nothing much. Um, if I succeed in getting the queen in there, of course, the others will be much more likely to follow. Of course, I'm not going to know that <laughs> until it happens. I'm going to partially cover the box because bees associate, of course, being in the dark with being at home. And down here there are bees around the um, entrance and they've come there, they've arrived there entirely of their own volition, so I think that's probably going to be the signal to the rest of them to move in, and I can see quite a strong movement down there now, towards the entrance. In these sort of situations, if you don't want to use your hand or if the bees are a bit stingy, then a piece of soft foam like this is quite a good tool. And you can just kind of run it as near as you can behind the bees and they're quite happy to walk onto it. And then you can just shake it into the box.
there's quite a few bees have moved into the box now through the entrance hole and they are crowding the ent entrance so This soft foam material works well because of course it doesn't, as long as you're reasonably gentle it won't damage the bees and um, they can climb onto it very easily if they choose to. Some of the bees are running straight down into the box, some are running around it, some are kind of ignoring it, but there's a, I think there's a general interest now in what's in the possibility of this as a home, because there is a nice big crowd around the entrance and the general movement towards the box now. There's a spider there that got lucky. some fanning going on here which I take to be a good sign as well because that's uh, they're trying to draw the attention of the aerial bees into the box. What I often do in these situations is to put a skep over the bees and I'm just going to do that now because that creates a dark space above them and uh, they might just be more inclined to walk up into that than they are into the box uh, in the short term and then I can also obviously I can then tip them into the box uh, once they're in the basket so let's see how that goes <coughs> yeah there's a uh a certain amount of interest in the in the skep because it's had bees in before of course many times and uh, so the smell is in there So right now the bees look like they're keener on the basket than they are on the hive which is uh, interesting of course because the basket's had many swarms in it before um, the hive has new woodwork and new, new wax foundations so um, perhaps they're just keener on the, the, the smell of the basket than they are of the uh, smell of the fresh wax although it's more likely to be due I think due to the position of the queen and if she's in the basket then that's where they're going to head.